Yo, what's going on everybody? Retro Rocky here. Hope y'all are doing well today. So, this is Grapple Tips video number one. And in this video, we're gonna solely discuss how to control your opponent on the ground better and how to transition on the ground better as well, all right? All right, so let's talk about ground fakes. Now, it's two main reasons why people use transition fakes on the ground. Number one, because it gives you grapple advantage, it increases your transition speed, and number two, because it creates a diversion on where you actually wanna transition on the ground. So right here, I'm using fakes to build up that grapple advantage, to increase my transition speed so I can posture up faster. Now, whenever you're using a wrestler, the main goal is to control your opponent and not get reversed and put on your back. So me personally, what I like to do is I would always posture up first and then go to half guard or the posture up first and then go to stack guard. But, but I always like to posture up first. I won't directly go to half guard unless I block my opponent's transition first, okay? You have to be very careful when you're transitioning with wrestlers because you don't want to be put off your back. Now, if I'm using a jiu-jitsu fighter like Tony, then I don't mind being put off my back because he has an off the back side of 98 and he has a rubber guard and he has high submission offense. So with jiu-jitsu fighters, you can transition a bit more freely, but with wrestlers, I recommend using more fakes to build that grapple advantage so you lower the risk of you being reversed and put on your back, okay? The best way to work the half guard position is to add in those top mount fakes plus the punches to the belly, all right? Now, remember what I said earlier, the fakes are used to create a diversion on where you actually want to go and to gain a grapple advantage. You see how I'm using the fakes here to create a diversion to actually go to half guard postured up. Now, if you're not that good at half guard postured up, I don't recommend staying here for too long because if your opponent blocks two or more strikes in the half guard position, they gain an insane amount of grapple advantage and they can reverse you or get up. Now, in the side control position, what people like to do nowadays is they'll wait for you to throw a strike and then they'll move. So again, if you're not that good at blocking transitions, I recommend going to top mount. Top mount is one of the best positions to be in if you're not that good at blocking transitions, and here's why. Your opponent cannot directly get up from the top mount position. Worst case scenario is that he arm traps you. To avoid being arm trapped, take your time when you're in the top mount position. Okay, don't rush to end him. Just look to control him. Throw a punch or two every five to 10 seconds maybe to avoid being arm trapped, all right? Now, let's say he goes to half guard. Hold on, uh, let me just go to top mount real quick. Okay, so let's say he goes to half guard. You do not be too predictable with your fakes, all right? If you fake, 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 fake like this, your opponent can pre-deny one of those fakes and put you right on your back, okay? So you never wanna be too predictable with your fakes. You always wanna mix it up. Go fake, punch, 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 fake, then transition, or fake, punch, fake, punch, 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 and transition. But be unpredictable, be creative with the way you transition all right so all right so back in timeout let's say let's say if he goes to timeout you just flick the right analog stick up to instantly posture up if he goes to half guard you already know how to work the half guard okay top mount fakes those punches to the belly and transition all right man remember what i said earlier fakes are used to create a diversion on on where you want to go okay it's used to create a diversion and it's used to gain that grapple advantage all right so be unpredictable with it 
if he tries to go to top mount you you can instantly posture up just flick the right analog stick up if he goes to half guard you already know what to do work those fakes be very unpredictable with it those top mount fakes be very unpredictable and the belly shot okay so now back flat the back flat is hands down the best position to be in if you're not good at blocking transition notice that insane amount of grapple advantage we just got for putting him in back flat as soon as he rolls to his back and also pay attention to all the stamina he just lost as soon as he tried to roll over back to timeout so hold on i'm about to do that one more time he rolls to back mount insane amount of grapple advantage we, we put him in back flat he loses damn near 60 percent of his stamina just trying to roll over to top mount and once he rolls over you can still instantly posture up just by flicking the right analog stick all right so one more time in back flat you've seen that insane amount of grapple advantage we just got all right now when you're in back flat only worry about blocking back mount okay only worry about blocking back mount that's r2 and up all right you seen how much stamina he lost from going to timeout now imagine all the stamina he's about to lose for trying to go to half guard look he loses damn near 75 percent of his stamina and we gain an insane amount of grapple advantage so when you're in back flat only deny back mount r2 and up people all right so now the side saddle position now what i like to do in this position is as soon as i'll throw one strike and as soon as the strike animation is done i'll pre-deny backside okay so one strike pre-deny backside i choose to pre-deny backside because i noticed that it's what people go to first and and nine times out of ten the person on the bottom he doesn't want to risk transitioning to side control to possibly be put in a crucifix or 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 to be hit with clean elbows inside control or clean body knees inside control so i find that they would transition to backside first okay so now what i want to show you guys now is um hold on let me just get back to side saddle so if the player on the bottom tries to go to side control first he's gonna have an insane amount of grapple advantage if he transitions from side saddle to side control to sprawl he's gonna have an insane amount of grapple advantage okay now hold on let me just show you guys all right man tony goes to side control sprawl boom the best way to cancel out that grapple advantage that tony just got is as soon as he breaks out of side saddle to side control you instantly go for the crucifix position you instantly go for crucifix or top mount or side saddle all right instantly even if they block it it's still gonna cancel out their grapple advantage so it's still a win-win situation for you anyway all right so i went over back flap if he transitions from half guard sorry if he transitions from back flat to half guard he's gonna lose an insane amount of stamina plus you get grapple advantage okay so boom you see how he just rolled to side control and we cancel out the grapple advantage by going to top all right well, that's it for this video, man. Grab with this video number one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it improves your game. With that being said, I'm out of here, man. I, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out to everybody, man.